Today's episode will be about actual demonstrations of magnetohydrodynamics being used to create non-conventional flight. Wingless Electromagnetic Air Vehicle or WEVE is a heavier-than-air flight system which can self-lift, hover, and fly reliably with no moving components. WEVE was invented in 2006 by Dr. Subrata Roy, plasma physicist, aerospace engineering professor at the University of Florida, and has been a subject of several patents. WEVE employs no moving parts and combines the aircraft structure, propulsion, energy production and storage, and control subsystems into one integrated system. An early prototype of the WEVE was able to sustain hovering flat a few millimeters above the ground for approximately three minutes. Prototypes of varying radio were also successfully tested, suggesting scalability of the design. This was funded by and demonstrated to the Air Force. From the document, it will support AFRL strategic vision of 2015 to 2030 to deliver precision effects, ubiquitous, swarming sensors and shooters and will be relevant to the WMD sensing ISR missions. With a flight profile similar to a spinning disc, we will be able to soar for long periods of time and utilize EHD thrust to acquire and maintain desired altitude and attitude. This revolutionary concept is based on the use of an electro or magneto, hydrodynamic, EHD slash MHD, thrust generation surface that is coated with multiple layers of dielectric polymers with exposed and or embedded electrodes for propulsion and dynamic control. This technology has the unique capability of imparting an accurate amount of thrust into the surrounding fluid enabling the vehicle to move and react. Thrust is instantaneously and accurately controlled by the applied power, its waveform, duty cycle, phase lag and other electrical parameters. Once the applied power is removed, the thrust vanishes. Combining the EHD slash MHD technology with emerging batteries and thin film photovoltaics provides both energy source and storage in the same structure. I've done posts in the past explaining how this type of propulsion is possible and it fits the description of many UFOs. Obviously this proof of concept isn't as advanced, but I've explained in other posts how the use of more energy-dense fuels slash batteries such as nuclear batteries or even nuclear fusion would allow for this type of propulsion to be way more feasible. I've also touched on how vacuum aerogel is being researched and could create lighter than aircraft that would work exceptionally well using this propulsion technology. It's also been pointed out that such craft could also utilize power beaming technology as well. The point is that it's both theoretically and technologically feasible. But that's not practical, you might say. My response is that it would make for great stealth aircraft so it's definitely practical. It explains no wings, propellers, noise or signature of any kind. It explains perfect hovering, stopping on a dime and quick alterations. It even explains the lack of sonic boom. It can also be used to become invisible to radar, but not infrared which is another one of the observations. It sounds like a very practical stealth craft to me. In fact, it's conceivable if you equipped such a craft with radar deflectors for spoofing you could essentially make a craft that can spoof and go invisible at the same time, which would be insanely confusing if it was used to swarm. Lighter than air solar of Nevada and Walden Aerospace It turns out this kind of propulsion technology was demonstrated to DOD and DOE in 1977 at Nellis Air Force Base by Michael K. Walden. After leaving Lighter Than Air Solar in 2005, Michael Walden founded Walden Aerospace. In the 1990s he was still apparently experimenting with using EHD slash MHD on large lighter than aircraft that he called the Big Black Delta. It was presumably shaped like a triangle. Walden Aerospace Electrokinetic Omnidirectional Thrust Drive and Drag Reduction System this propulsive system allows for the near-silent operation of the BBD type craft and reduces or eliminates the sonic pressure shockwave of such a craft operating at supersonic and hypersonic speeds. When operating at lower speeds or when hovering, 
The Walden EK drive allows the BBD to maneuver without the need for external aerodynamic surfaces or moving parts. Drag reduction and boundary layer control due to the EK drive field allow the Walden BBD design to quickly accelerate and stop silently. Apparently Michael was involved with NIDS and wrote a paper hypothesis-big black deltas, DOD not ET published in 2002. At least according to his website. The links look broken. Below is direct quotes. It should be noted that the 2004 Phase 1 technologies goals of the DARPA Hula slash Walrus program exactly match the technological systems as outlined in the 2002 NIDS slash Walden paper. DARPA said advances in envelope and hull materials, buoyancy and lift control, drag reduction and propulsion combined to make this concept feasible. Technologies to be investigated in the initial study phase included vacuum slash air buoyancy compensator tanks, which provide buoyancy control without ballast, and electrostatic atmospheric ion propulsion. While aerospace experts at the time of the 2002 NIDS paper publication said that they did not think the Walden EK drive was possible, it should be noted that Mr. Walden had not only built and flown a self-powered rigid composite aero-shelled airship with such a drive a quarter century before he wrote the NIDS article, he built and flew another newer EK Technologies flight test airship model with fully skin-integrated, electronically steered with no external aero surfaces and no moving parts. EK propulsion in 2003 and let members of the NEEDS board of directors fly it as proof of the concept in his paper in August of 2003. He goes on to say he wasn't awarded the contract but Lockheed Martin and Aero's Aeronautical Systems Corp was instead, then claims they violated some of his patents. I can't really speak to the veracity of those claims, but I find it interesting. I guess it's an unexpected part of searching for UFO patents. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel.